losing someone, a husband, um, it was totally, well, the first month or so, it felt like a whirlwind. It felt like we just, I just um, wanted the world to stop <laughs> because I had so much to process, you know. Um, and we just, I just had to learn how to be, we had to learn how to be a family without him. Um, you know, it was, it was tough. I don't think I knew, I guess, what I could do and how to help them. And so I feel like because I was in this survival mode, because I was in this fight or flight and just wanting to get, basically putting one foot in front of the other, if I didn't have Jenny's hope, that I feel like I still would be in this place of not really knowing how to help them. Um, we really appreciate Jenny's hope. We. Um... We feel like it was just a safe place to just be you. There were things they would tell me at our adult meetings that I was like, oh, well, I mean, here I am, and I've been there. I've had that same feeling. I've had that feeling of I'm hurting, the kids are hurting, and how can I be there for them? And I feel like Jenny's Hope helped me be there for them better, be present for them. And whereas before it was almost like I was driving blindfolded. All right, so Miss Beverly calls you every year and says, Denver, can you come help me? Why do you keep saying yes? Well, I think I, I was a teacher and just being able to help kids is the thing. And there, there are kids that need help and this is, there's not many places that can reach out and do what Jenny's Hope does for these families. And so I think it's really important for those kids to have a place that they can come and talk and to do that. And seeing like the first group coming in for the very first time from when they left eight weeks later was just huge transformation. And I loved being a part of that and watching them grow, knowing that they really weren't alone and they came with, knowing nobody, left with friends and mentors and that we're always there for them. So it's really made it easy to say yes every year. I think it's extremely important to help these families navigate grief because it's, grief can be awkward and they don't know how to deal with it. It's just like a, a volcano eruption and they don't know how to escape from it. So they come here and they, they learn tools to, to cope with grief and for themselves and their children. And it rewards me to be able to help them navigate that path in turn. It helps me with my grief too. With the kids we work with, there's usually one, to be honest, that I say, oh, if he was in my class. Oh. <laughs> but you think they're not engaged. You don't think maybe they're not getting through to them and whatever. And then all of a sudden, uh, they'll just kind of look and say something and it's like, wow. It's either heartbreaking or just kind of, wow, he gets it, or whatever. And, and there's those kind of breakthrough moments when you can really see the difference you're making. I think if anything, and it happens every single semester, and I've been doing this since it started, every semester there's a kiddo that hears a story and immediately their face just changes. Maybe they open their mouth and they say, I feel the same way. I didn't think anyone ever felt that way. And now I've found someone that feels just like me. This is a very worthwhile organization. And you, if you don't feel like you can facilitate or be a door greeter, your monetary gifts will help with the curriculum, help provide you know, children with much needed materials to take home from this session. But when their faces, as they, as they start out during our, the first of the season and they come in and they don't want to separate from their parents, and then all of a sudden, um, within the next couple of weeks, they want to. And then um, at the end, when one of them speaks up and says, I don't, I don't want this to end. And so then you know you've done your job. 
I would just say that no matter what it is, the monetary, the volunteering, I know people can't volunteer their time, but they can open their checkbook up. Anything helps, any little bit. There's tons of supplies that we need, and um, we all volunteer as facilitators, but we just love being able to help in that way. But if uh, you are willing to share what you have to help a kiddo to overcome something, the hardest walk they'll ever take in their entire life, and a family that's struggling to maybe find uh, some comfort Please do that. Please do it for them.